that answers not, the you question. You don't even have to box me, bro. I'm real bro, sure. I love, no, but listen, bro. I love Young Thug. I love, I love Young Thug. Young Thug but too. can't. Preview. Preview. What is the perfect album with no skips? Don't say your own music. What is that album? It, it don't got no skippables uh, on it. Good Kid, Mad City. Hey, no cap. All the no way through. Top then I'm going to say damn. I think damn is that. Oh, album. man. Come on, guys. No, hey, Akon. <laughs> no, Akon Trouble. Mm. T-Pain, Epiphany. The Carter yes. Three. Yes. The Carter Three. Yeah, the card. My beautiful dark twisted fantasy. Oh, so y'all have numerous. It always a heartbreak. So oh, what's, yes, your, what's that best and album? The best album of all time, in your personal opinion. Ooh, you know, that's that I can sit and listen to no matter what. The thing is, I don't have one album, so I'm not gonna give you a whole list. But <laughs> T Pain Epiphany, bro. The, yeah, the, T. I, I thought it was the only one that uh, respected that album like oh, that. All his albums. Was that the one with a uh, backseat action? No, Whoa, yeah. Um, and I'm in love with your stomach, change. and yeah. Yeah, bro, like. That nigga was talking some like real shit, like real raw with it, before niggas was really going that route. Yes. People only pay attention to the radio songs and all the auto tune, yeah. but even when you listen to his albums, he don't even use it the whole album. Facts. That's just beautiful. Uh, I noticed that I see a gentleman in the middle that's shaking his head from left to right. Oh, obviously. Was... What what is causing this? I was just thinking. <laughs> yeah. Thinking. What's that album for you? Uh. That, that touches you in, in a magical place. <laughs> 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 um, probably um, to pimp a butterfly. Mm. Front to back. Yeah, it, I don't know about front to back, but it got enough. Like, even if I don't like the song, I understand like what. Yeah, yeah, I understand I, the art. You know what I mean? I understand that completely. There are okay. albums like that where like you may not like the song that much, but because you completely understand what they're saying, you can still sing it. Like it's a song on there called "You." And I don't really like, I don't like it like that. But like the emotion and all of it inside of that song just alone is like, it's a great song. Do you, do you think a, a good rapper can save a bad beat? Mm. Or you think if it's a bad beat, you ain't trying to listen to it? Bro, Nas, Nas, Nas got countless songs that niggas can consider classic. And nah, beats, bro. And the beats are ass. But, nah. Okay, bro. like say one. Oh, right. Hey, hey. You're asking too much. That's, a, that's a common opinion in the industry that, like, Nas not, pick trash beats. No, yeah, yes, yeah. he does. So does Eminem. They, bro, they... they oh, yeah, Eminem, Eminem to... has a formula, too. Like, anytime you hear this... <laughs> some kind of weird bass and stuff, you're like, oh, they, like he wants that. coming on. <laughs> they, they said that's why uh, Slaughterhouse, like, would get upset, because instead of him opening up, like, all the producers, they said Eminem would say, here are your choice of beats. And it was like he was picking the beats, so I wasn't really big on Slaughterhouse. So, but I'm imagining that there was a bunch of Eminem-ish type of sounds, and then, That's you, and then you put your button on it, and and <laughs> he's probably unhappy about this. <laughs> I can just imagine him. Hey, I'm not gonna lie, I love Joe Budden. Yeah. Oh man, I love Joe Budden a lot. I was like, Slaughterhouse. Period. No, no, forget Slaughterhouse. <laughs> just Joe <laughs> Budden. Joe Budden is that nigga. That man said, "Forget Slaughterhouse." <laughs> Don't oh disrespect. God. Don't you ever disrespect Royce like that. Bro. Royce, Royce fought nine straight, and then nice and then cocaine. Yes, Joel, 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 or uh, what's his name? Joel Ortiz. He, I. Right. He said straight, and I. Right. I, I can see that you're offended right now. Yeah, yeah, Express bro. yourself. Well, at the end of the day, like I like rap music. You know what I'm saying? I like all music, but like rap, like actual rappers, not niggas who in like like doing mainstream stuff and like just going crazy. Like, do you listen think, to bars type music? I like, because there, because there's rap just like you chilling, yes, you know. It's, it's, and then it's, there's the Nas's. Like, who do you listen to like that when you just go into for bars? Oh, if I'm looking for bars, it's usually like Kendrick Section Eighty. I'll, mm. I'll, I'll, I could bump Section Eighty at any given moment or any Wale album. Uh, but like, <laughs> I noticed like, that you were inspired like, by the studio. The niggas are truly barred up, like. Even now, you can go back and listen to any of their music, any of their songs, anything they made as a group, or just been on anything, and you'll catch something you ain't hear the first time. I love that. That's real beautiful music yeah. there. That's what makes Wayne so great. Because even now, I'm yeah, he that, does, that is. What's fast. the song? Oh, you know, with no problems. 
with okay, Chase you the Rapper. Okay, you were going to a guy. Oh, that one. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I listened to that, bro, the other day, and I caught something I didn't hear the first time. And that's a song I bump, I hear all the time because that was on the radio. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. He he just he puts little breadcrumbs in there, and then you catch it. Uh, sometimes you yeah. have to slap your forehead. And and like, and, and, oh, I was little, bro. Chance was good, too. Yeah, yeah. Because Chance used to be that. Yeah. Used to, bro. <laughs> I got the juice. Used to. Used to. I got the juice. I hated that song, but I ain't gonna lie to you. You like that? No, I hated that song. What? That song and then the, everybody, somebody's everything. <laughs> I hated that. <laughs> I didn't like that at all. <laughs> juice actually is what brought me on board with Chance. And then uh, he, I'm not gonna say I'm off of Chance, but sometimes I kind of, when people get too popular, you know when you find something and you're like, man, this is my secret rapper. And mm-hmm. then everybody gets on it and then you just say, all right. That's, that's, and see, that's what happened that's with Brett me Biden and Wayne. Right now. That's mm-hmm. what happened with me and Wayne. Like, I, when everybody was on Wayne, then I was just kind of off of it because I was like, oh, man, I've been listening to Wayne since he was little. Yeah, I feel <laughs> Yeah, bro, everybody had that artist. Like, it's, everybody had that one person that they secretly don't want to get too successful. But it's also because once you get super successful, you kind of got to do some corny shit to stay there. So watch this then. I'm going to start with this gentleman here. Now, who is that rapper that you know they can't rap, but you like them? Because we all got one. Where like, you're aware. Uh, you're very aware they can't rap, okay. but you're like, for some reason, I like this guy. All right. Um, <laughs> I love Young Nudie. Right? Young Nudie, um, yeah. he's, he's supposed to be, I think, 21 Savage's cousin. Yeah. Uh, exactly. He was on, uh, you, you, you heard uh, Re- uh, Return of the Dreamers? You heard Down Bad with Jid and uh, oh, yeah, Earth yeah, Gang? Yeah, yeah. He's the opening verse to that. Yeah. And he, he has a song with 21 Savage called EA. Mm-hmm. He has Mr. with 21 Savage. That man, he just be saying anything. But <laughs> he got he got that delivery. Like, the it, delivery it, saves him. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm he, he got saves great him. pockets. So, like, it, it, it don't, like, he literally has a song called Loaded Baked Potato. <laughs> <laughs> That man, I'm telling y'all, check check him out, bro. Like he actually is like cool. I want to experiment with that song. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> uh, who is that artist that you're aware that you're aware they can't rap? You just it's something else. You don't know what it is. I don't. Is it can Young Thug rap? <laughs> <laughs> well, no. I think that I'm answers not, the you question. Don't, you don't even have to box me, bro. I'm real bro, sure. I love no, but listen, bro. I love Young Thug. I love, I love Young Thug. Young Thug but too, can like, he rap? No. The fact that it needed to be verified. But I've heard him. I didn't I did heard him spit some verses. He'd be like, dang, like, uh, you ever heard Sacrifice? Y'all heard Sacrifices with Drake? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Th- that was a hard verse. He was he was talking, but then a lot of times he'd be talking like, like if cops pull up, I put that crack in my crack. What? Yeah, what are you saying here? I mean, that's what... That's, uh, he ha- he has that, incredibly... That's what he's got to do. Yeah, he has incredibly arbitrary, like, punchlines. Like, they're very, very, very simple. But yeah. like, but, but sometimes he got some nice ones. DJ Paul once said, uh, "You said you're gonna blow the fuck up, but you're not gonna blow up until I put the grenade in your butt." <laughs> <laughs> this is a real bar. I think this dates back to like '98. <laughs> <laughs> he should have kept. <laughs> he should have kept that one in the vault. I'm not gonna lie to you. <laughs> oh my gosh, uh, who's that guy? That you know, it's crazy. I don't think. I think Gunna's boring as hell, but I still man, like him. I love Gunna, bro. Gunna, but I, I like him. Gunna is boring because he's just here. It's like he has this. But it's so smooth. But it works. Yeah, it's a vibe for me. Yeah, bro. I don't think I can't really dig anybody off the top of my head. Oh, Travis Scott. Scott. Travis Scott can't rap. Nah, that's not true. He have can't you rap. Two, have you heard nine hundred two? He can't. Now? Bro, listen, bro, listen, listen. Heard, this is what Travis Scott does. This is what Travis Scott does. Travis Scott makes a. I don't even know if he makes it. They they have a dope beat, super duper dope beat. And this nigga just get on there and he like. I'm actually oh. tearing up, bro. The hardest the hardest line I ever heard him say. Who uh who put this together? I'm the glue. Oh my. Oh for real? That's oh. the only hard line you heard this man say? Yes, and that's not even hard. It's not. It's not. But like, <laughs> I'm I'm what, phone what's some hard he said? Tell him some hard. I, I hold on, time out. I don't know that <laughs> because you, I, you you bring in you take too much music in to really just call some people out. At the end of the day, bro, if you you can listen to bef- days before the rodeo, front to back, and get and get hell of bars off that whole long. Nah, for real. Average on average, how many bars we gonna get? <laughs> I'm really tired of you, bro. You disrespected a lot. Of I'm not gonna lie, you caught my bluff. Now, bro, I'm sick of it. 